Hey there, Hampshire chemistry students. Glad to have you today. We are going to be talking about briefly some of the well, one of the biggest topics in kind of all of science. Right? It's something that connects to biology, chemistry, physics, and it's this term of equilibrium. And we're currently in our rates of reactions and equilibrium unit, and we're going to be discussing this term coming up very, very shortly. And so equilibrium, right off the bat, you should hear that term equal as part of our word. Because okay, equilibrium is really just referring to balance in a system. Okay. Balance is something that affects all of our lives all the time. Okay. Whether that's uh, you trying to balance a checkbook as okay, so you don't go into debt, or whether it's balance outside in the wilderness, right, between predators and prey. Okay? Or even just, I don't know, balancing our diet and making sure we don't eat too unhealthily. Okay? And we show this balance in chemistry by looking at chemical reactions. And I want to look at a very specific, very famous reaction. Okay? One that involves diatomic nitrogen reacting with diatomic hydrogen to form ammonia. Okay, that's NH3. Okay? Ammonia is a super powerful ingredient in most chemical fertilizers. And it makes it super important when you're trying to basically build a giant farm and feed a bunch of people. Okay? And we can go ahead and quickly balance this reaction and make sure that it works here. And this reaction is often referred to as what's called the Haber process. Okay? It's named after a guy named Fritz Haber, and he's probably one, about the closest we ever got in chemistry to having an evil genius. Okay? Because his genius was looking at this reaction because it is usually super slow. It only creates a teeny tiny amount of ammonia, which is not great when you're trying to make that fertilizer. Okay? What he was able to discover and discuss was how reactions don't just go to the right. They also move back and forth. This is the idea of balance in a reaction. And when we're in equilibrium in a reaction, we are in what's called a balanced state. Okay? So we're in a situation where the reaction has two forms. It has a forward reaction moving to the right, as well as a reverse reaction. And they are in equilibrium when we have a constant rate between these two. If you need a second, pause the video here so you can get this definition. Because okay, I want to talk again just a little bit more about this reaction. Okay, in this reaction, Fritz noticed that the reason why it was going so slow is because this side of the reaction, the reverse reaction, was a lot stronger than the forward side. Okay, that the NH3 was breaking down so fast that even as much as you tried to make more, it just couldn't keep up. Right? So this idea here of a backwards and forwards reaction that is just constantly slowly breaking down is what we mean when we say equilibrium. And going forward, we're going to talk about how Fritz Haber was able to shift this reaction and move it so that we could actually manipulate what would naturally happen and create that forward reaction to make that process and actually push it more to the right. So we'll uh, pause right here for now and come back to this more later okay, about talking about equilibrium. Okay, again, this is all about having a forward and a reverse reaction in chemistry.